بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما I can use this URL to visit the website developers.cisco.com site sandbox. And I can see this is the URL uh, from where you can go with. And once you click on this URL, it is going to ask you the login information. So the different login options you will have. Normally, I'm already logged in here. Let me just quickly log out, log out and log in again. Okay, now this is how it looks for the first time when you click on this. So you need to say click get started with sandbox. So when you click on this, you can find the different options you can use for logging. You can use any one of these options. You can use your Cisco ID or any other options. Probably all the options will work. So I'm using my Cisco ID here to log in. And of course, it will provide uh, ask you for login credentials. You don't see the credentials in between here. But once you provide the proper credentials, now you will be able to log into this Cisco DevNet sandbox option here. So this is what the first page looks like. So if you see on the left side, you have an option of reservation schedules. Probably if you want to make any reservations, probably you can do it from here. So already you can see I do have one reservation already here. And these are all the sandboxes you can see. There are total 68 sandboxes available right now. On different different options here now this is your main page and if you want to be more specific and you want to browse the sandbox based on specific categories like let's say you want to do some kind of uh, networking related jobs when you click on the networking then it is going to display the options which are relevant to the networking like you can see here there are some uh, developer options wireless LAN controller options so this code DNS center options and likewise again there are some other options here like if you click on this open source this is for open source projects or open source development tools and even uh, if you're going with data center automation here you can find the data center related automation options here so if we just start with uh, something called basic networking now in this basic networking sandbox it offers many networking labs with relevant to sdn controllers and api networks you'll find here and you can see like the Cisco DNS center options uh, which are available here and apart from that you have something called SD-WAN software defined WAN uh, labs as well and even you have something called IWIS XE so this is like exploring the programmability options on the Cisco IWIS XE devices or some other specific platforms you can see here the XR programmability like if you are going with a service border you will be using some XR devices so how we can uh, use programmable programmability options with the XR devices. You can find the different options here, like uh, the DNA option, like DNA, as I said in the previous sections, it is going to be your centralized management uh, option from where you can manage all the devices and you can do programmability also from the centralized place. And then you have something called SD-WAN, as I said, SD-WAN is uh, consists of virtual SD-WAN setup here and all its components and this is going to allow the developers to debug test the sample SD-WAN applications so if you are learning some kind of SD-WAN technologies in the future this is something a little bit useful so again as I said XR programmability and then CSR and then there is something called Meraki Meraki is again a cloud managed network control system and again, it is going to help you to manage your access points, routers, switches, security, and, and probably the endpoints like cameras, probably those options here. Okay, so the, these are the options, what you'll see. Apart from that, you have something called Internet of Things. Now, this Internet of Things is referring to the physical device devices around the world, which are connected on the Internet, and they all are sharing the data. So more on that. And this open source is more like open source development tool. And likewise, we have different options with relevant to data center automation. So if you are looking for any kind of data center automation related options, you, you go with this category where you have access to virtual servers, uh, networking related and ACI, uh, which is again, a kind of automation used on the data center options, the ACI simulator. 
which stands for application centric infrastructure which allows you to access the applications integrate your network development optimize your network monitoring those options okay so similar way you have cloud related options security related options again if you go with security there are some security products and the apis how you can use and integrate them here now one thing you actually observe here is there are two different types of rack options there is something called always on and there is one more option called reserve now let's try to see the difference between these two there are two types of sandboxes always on or or the reservation option now the difference between these two is when the always on option is like if you want to have an immediate access immediately right now whenever you log in you can go with always on option and again this is more like a shared uh, environment where multiple users or multiple people will be accessing at the same time and it is more applicable like you want to do some kind of quick test quick verifications or quick learning uh, learning the options quickly or go through with those options a little bit probably you can you can go with this option now again one of the limitation is you don't have admin privileges with this always on option which means you have limited access where you may not be able to make much changes uh, normally you don't have admin privileges you cannot uh, maybe you cannot add the specific sites or whatever the changes you want to do uh, may not be possible in in the always on option so if you want to go with some kind of admin access where you want to make some changes and to verify the options now we can go with something called reservation sandbox now this reservation sandbox where you have a dedicated access to that particular infrastructure so it's like a private access you have to that hardware software vpns of course you have to do vpn for that so you can select a specific uh, technology you have to select whether you want to go with an aci simulator or dna dns center now you have to select and book the slot and to access that you need to do some kind of vpn so you will have some steps available over there how you need to access probably that will be provided the documentation and you will have full admin access here and one more thing when you are doing some kind of reservation you may not have immediate access to that maybe you may have access the next day or maybe next week also or maybe after 10 days depending upon the availability of that particular infrastructure so in the reservation slot you will you can be able to do some advanced options like changes but again you have to pre schedule to do that so mostly initially i'll be showing you something like cisco dna how to do that in the in our next sections